factorize x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4. Now, uh, in my previous video, I talked about how to find factors of a polynomial. Now, looking at the coefficients, if you add the coefficients, so let us add the coefficient. Now, these are two tests which will help us to find whether x plus 1 or x minus 1 is a coefficient. So, so th this is the first test. This test is to find whether x minus 1 is a factor. So sum of coefficient is, if you add the coefficient, the coefficient of x cubed is 1, the coefficient of x squared is also 1. So it's 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, minus 4, minus 4. So this is obviously not equal to 0. So what does this imply? This implies x minus 1 is not a factor, is not a factor. Now the next test is to add the coefficient of odd variable. Now I call, I call this the odd variable or odd power variable. And this is also the odd power variable. So let us add the sum of odd power sum of coefficients, sum of coefficients, sum of coefficients of odd power, of odd power. So let us add them. So if you add 1 plus negative 4, which is negative 3. So what is the sum of coefficients of even power? is again the same 1 plus negative 4 which is minus 3. Now this implies x plus 1 is a factor. Okay now there is also a different way of doing this. Now if you look at the constant minus 4, the factors of minus 4 are plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2, plus or minus 4. So if you don't know if suppose x plus 1 or x minus 1 is not a factor, you can also uh, take these and see whether they are factors. I'm not going, going into that. So we have decided x plus 1 is a factor, so the remainder would be 0. So let us do the synthetic division. So let me save space. So let me draw it here. So you write the coefficient first. The coefficient of the polynomials are 1, 1, negative 4, and negative 4. And x plus 1 is a factor, so you're dividing by minus 1. So you start with the 0, and then you add these two. So 1 plus 0 is 1, and then you multiply this two. So 1 times negative 1, or 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So this is 0. So this is minus 1 times 0 is 0, and this is negative 4, and then you multiply this 2, which is plus 4. And here, yeah, this is 0. So what does this these numbers mean? Therefore, I can say x cubed plus x squared, even without, this is 1 stands for 1x cubed, this 1 stands for 1x squared minus 4x minus 4 is equal to x plus 1 times, this is the coefficient of x cubed. So this is x cubed uh, plus, no, this should be x squared, because this is a cube, cubic. So this is x squared, 1x squared, plus 0x minus 4. This 0 stands for the coefficient of x, and this is a constant. So, so the, this is the remainder. So the remainder, this tells me that the remainder, this is the remainder. Okay, so when you, in other words, when you're dividing this polynomial by x plus 1, the remainder is 0. And so this is, a co, this is these are the coefficient of the quotient polynomial. So this is equal to x plus 1 times x squared minus 4. Now this is difference of two squares, so this is x plus 1 times x squared 
x squared minus 2 squared. So finally it factorizes to x plus 1, x plus 2, x minus 2. So this is the factorization of this polynomial.